Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This animation was entirely created with Blender, and I'll show you how I made it. This is the first part, which includes modeling, materials, and grease pencil settings. The second part primarily focuses on using geometry nodes to drive scene animations. Let's get started. This animation is based on my artwork. To recreate it accurately, I used FSpy to match the scene's camera and perspective. Since it's a hand-drawn illustration, the perspective doesn't need to be strictly realistic. Just ensure it serves the purpose. Place the center point at one corner of this small house, and later, I'll start modeling around this house. You'll need to install FSpy to import the saved file into Blender. Detailed installation and usage instructions will be in the video description. The modeling process is straightforward. You only need to find the center point where you placed it and start modeling there. You can directly edit the model in the camera view, adjust its position, and eventually achieve a spatial relationship that closely matches the illustration. I imported this artwork into Blender's front view and used Bezier curves to trace its outline. Set the handles to free for better control of the curve's direction. Convert the curve to a mesh. Merge the first and last point, then fill it to get a nice shape. However, the topology inside is not suitable for animation purposes. I used a powerful Blender add-in called Quad Remesher. I will also put the add-in address in the video description. Just set the desired number of quads, and it can convert any model into a well-suited topology. I tried a few conversions here. I didn't want the model to have too many faces because I'll be using subdivision later. For the sun's outer rays, I used the edges as a basis for the shape, even though they won't be rendered. Later, I'll use grease pencil to render these edges as line art. I added a damp track constraint to the sun to make it always face the camera. Placed in point light on the sun. With that, the modeling phase is complete. To better match the illustration's colors, additional ambient lighting in the scene should be turned off, so set the ambient light intensity to zero. Create a new material and delete the shader. Use a color ramp based on the model's local coordinates to fill the gradient color. Control T. To use this hotkey you should enable Node Wrangler add-in. Delete the image texture. Make sure Object Connect to Vector. Rotate it in the Y-axis to achieve the same gradient angle as the illustration. Adjust Location Y to control the gradient's height and scale Y for its size. Since the model has rotation, this gives it the appearance of rotation. Adjust these three values to get the desired effect. Then pick the colors. At this point, you'll notice that the filled colors are quite different from the illustration. In the rendering settings, under the Color Management tab, change Filmic to Standard to solve this issue. Next, copy this material to other models and adjust them to match the corresponding colors. The ground is a bit special because I need shadows. Create a new material and convert the shader to color. Then, use a color map node to control the colors of highlights and shadows through the gradient. Set 
since this is a physical material, the color is influenced by the lighting, so adjust the brightness of the lights to match the contrast in the illustration. I enjoy this process, which is quite similar to painting. This step is to add line art to the scene. Place all models in a collection. Create a grease pencil collection line art. In the settings, choose the newly created collection. You'll notice that this line art has perspective, which is not what I want. In order to solve this, in the Strokes tab under this section, change world space to screen space. Keep in mind that the thickness is related to the rendering size. Adjust the line thickness. At this point, the effect in the rendering window may look different from the final render. As mentioned earlier, if your edges don't produce the desired line art effect, you need to check the loose option here. Next, create lines on the ground to represent undulations. Continue drawing in the camera view, showing only the ground. And enable X ray. Create a new blank grease pencil. Enter draw mode. Set the origin to surface so that the drawn lines conform to the ground. Set strength to 1, otherwise the lines will be semi-transparent. Similarly, change world space to screen space. Match the line width with the other line art. Check for any issues. Then modify the colors. If you encounter an issue where the lines in your render appear out of order, check the Z option here. Then I enhanced the lines on the ground and created grass using edge. Okay, this part is end. In the next part, I'll use geometry nodes to bring the scene to life. Please like and subscribe. Your support is a significant motivation for me. Thanks. The next part is coming up soon.